Hey, welcome back to Mr. News Art Class. It's wonderful to see your smiling faces today. In today's video, I want to talk to you about erasers. Here I have five different types of erasers. Really, actually, it's only four different types of erasers because this one is actually the same kind as that one. We'll talk about that in a later. But each of these erasers has its own purpose. This one is one that you'll probably see artists of all different types using. It's called a gummy or stretchy or kneaded eraser, kneaded with a K. And we call it that because we can knead it and stretch it and pull it. And the kneaded eraser is every artist's go-to for graphite and charcoal. This is really useful because it can be used to pick up just a very soft, small amount. So for example, here I've got my tree and I don't want to erase all of the shading in there, but maybe I got it a little darker than I wanted. So I can just pull up a very small amount at a time. And you notice that the eraser here gets a little bit dark because it's picking up some of that graphite. And if it gets uh, dirty like that, we can simply stretch it out and you see that that starts to pull it into the, the eraser itself and then find a clean spot and maybe start to pick up some more. Again, when it gets dirty, you just simply squeeze it, pull it, and go again. So the gummy eraser is really useful at just pulling up a little bit of value at a time. But it's not very good for erasing lines or shapes or things that you've pushed a little harder or got darker values for. Uh, if you want to erase something more completely, you'll need to use one of the other types of erasers. The other reason why artists love these gummy or kneaded erasers so much is because they don't leave any residue on your paper. You notice that when I uh, start to erase things here, it doesn't leave little eraser shavings all over the place so I don't have to swipe them away or try to blow them away. It just stays here. The one downside is that as you use the eraser and it starts to get thick with graphite or charcoal or pastel or whatever you're using, it'll get to the point eventually where trying to erase things will actually put down whatever's stuck into your eraser. So if I've used it on a whole bunch of charcoal drawings, and then I try to go use it on a graphite drawing, then the charcoal from my old drawings is going to show up onto my new drawing, because it's going to come out of the eraser and onto the paper. So you do have to be careful to change these out when they get old. And you can tell when they're starting to get old because they start to get dark even when you stretch them. If you see right here, when I stretch it, it's really light. It's a very pale gray. Uh, but when it's when you've got a used one, it'll be dark even when you stretch it. The second type of eraser I want to talk to you about is called an art gum eraser. This is also still made out of rubber. These these two erasers are both made out of rubber, but this eraser is a slightly different kind of rubber and it is one that will crumble. This, this eraser is really useful also for getting up very small amounts of value, particularly if you have smudges where my, uh, my hand has been rubbing against the paper. There will be smudges that may need to be erased, and this is a really good eraser for getting those up. But you notice that big crumbles fall off, and that's actually a good thing because that's actually what helps to, to rub the paper and get get the uh, graphite up off of the paper, those little bitty crumbles will dig down into the grooves, the tooth of the paper, and help to pick it up. But then you're, you're left with this mess that you have to sweep away. 
Now, if I just sweep that away with my hand, then the oils in my hand are going to pick up all of this graphite from other things and just smear it back. So then I'm going to have a mess again. Some artists will use a brush of some kind to just brush that stuff away. Even that still smears the graphite a little bit, but not as much as my hand would. But these art gum erasers are not only for graphite and charcoal and dry mediums like that. You've also probably seen me in some of my other videos where I'm doing ink. You can actually use this to erase ink smudges. You can't erase a, an ink line with it. But if I've been drawing with an ink pen and my hand smears the ink a little bit, you can actually use this to erase the smudges that are just on the surface of the paper. The third kind of eraser we want to talk about is the pink rubber erasers. Now this is where things start to get interesting because some companies make these pink erasers in other colors like black or green or brown and whatever. These are the normal erasers. They're, they're still made out of rubber just like these. But it's, it's the kind of eraser you would expect to have on the back end of a pencil. Speaking of which, if you're getting just regular old standard number two pencils like you get for school, the best erasers on these pencils come on these Dixon Ticonderoga pencils. If you, you want to draw with a regular number two pencil, get this kind. But these uh, Pink Pearl erasers are, are another good brand, and uh, I like these big ones better than the ones on the back end of a pencil because you can get these nice hard edges where you can erase out some lines. So for example, like up here in the uh, sky of my picture, it's a sunset picture so you know there's colors swooshing across the sky sideways, but I'm doing a graphite picture so I don't want the color but I do still want the idea of having those sideways slashes of color. So I could use this, use a little corner of this to just pull out a little bit of value like that. Or if I had a line that was in a place where I didn't want it, this is the kind of eraser that you might expect to use to get rid of that. Although, a better kind of eraser for erasing dark lines is these white plastic erasers. And again, sometimes they come in different colors like black or black brown or blue. So you've got to be careful sometimes to, to look at the fine print and see what your erasers are made out of because this white eraser is actually not made out of rubber. All these others are made out of rubber, these three. But this white one is actually made out of plastic. It's a plastic eraser. And my personal favorites are these plastic erasers and the gummy erasers. Uh, the kneaded eraser or the gummy eraser is really useful for a lot of situations, which I already mentioned. But then this uh, plastic eraser is really good for erasing things that are dark, that are really pushed hard. And it's a lot better at erasing deeper into the paper than either of these. Now you might be wondering what the downsides of each of these erasers are. The only downside to the kneaded eraser or the gummy eraser is that it can't be used to erase deep dark values. That can be really problematic if you make mistakes such as stray marks in places where you don't want them. The downside of the art gum eraser is that it's so crumbly, it's difficult to use when you've actually got other stuff on your paper, because when you swipe the mess away, you're just going to be smearing everything else that's already on your paper. The downside of the pink erasers is that they're not quite strong enough to erase deeper or darker lines especially if you've pushed your pencil into the paper. And the downside of the white plastic erasers is that they can very easily damage the paper. 
If I scrub this into my paper to erase something, I could actually rip a hole in my paper, or more commonly, I could smooth out the texture of the paper. If you ever feel your paper, it always has a little bit of texture to it where it's not perfectly smooth, and you can see that where I've been shading here. You can see the texture of the paper in there. But if I use this too hard, if I push down too hard with this, it's going to erase out some of that texture. It's going to flatten out the paper to where it doesn't have that texture anymore. And then you can end up with a picture like this that has some little areas where the texture doesn't look the same as what's around it. Then it can be a real eyesore. So you got to be really careful with these plastic erasers. Now, with all that being said, I'm going to mention one more time that these two are my go-to erasers, personally. Different artists prefer different erasers, but I personally find that this eraser does just about everything I want it to do, except clean up mistakes. And this eraser can clean up the mistakes I make, as well as make little adjustments here and there, where I've got too dark of a value on my page. I still keep the other two around just in case I need them, but I very rarely use those. One last little thing. I mentioned at the beginning that this eraser is the same kind as this one. It's the pink eraser. And this is what we call a pencil eraser. Which just means it's a pencil casing with an eraser inside. And it's really handy for erasing lines, but I don't mean like that kind of line. I mean, if I want a white line in my shading, I can use this to erase out a white line. Now, this one is the pink eraser kind, the rubber eraser kind. So it's not going to erase quite as deeply as the white plastic eraser would. I have another one of these in the mail on its way to me right now, it should get here in the next couple of days, that actually has a white plastic eraser on the inside and a brush at the back for brushing away your eraser shavings. And I can't wait to see that and try it out. I'm actually kind of disappointed with this one because it doesn't erase quite as well as my other pink eraser. This pink pearl does the job that I wanted this to do. But I think once I get my white plastic eraser version of the pencil eraser, I'll give it a try, see what I think, but I expect that I'll be using it quite a lot. And while I'm still on the topic of erasers, I wanted to go back to something we talked about in the previous video, which is value. You've already seen me up here in the sky using erasers of different types. To pull some of that value out. And if there's only one thing you take away from this video, it should be that your eraser whether you spend the money on some good fancy art erasers or whether it's simply the tool on the back of your number two pencil. Either way, the eraser is an important tool not just for erasing mistakes, but also for lightening up values that you've put down too darkly. Up to this point, these weekly art tips videos have been all about the most basic, fundamental ways to use the simplest tools that each artist starts with, pencils and erasers. Next week, and for the whole month of February, I plan to focus these weekly art tip videos on specific techniques for how to draw what you see. This is important because once you've learned how to draw what you see, you can learn how to draw anything. Here's a list of the topics that I plan to cover over the month of February.
As always, I've left links in the description for all of the supplies that I used or talked about in this video. And those are affiliate links, which means if you use them, it directly supports this channel and it helps me keep these videos coming to you. If you want to be part of Mr. News Art Class, subscribe for weekly beginner art tips on Thursdays and new Zentangle videos every Sunday. And thanks again for watching. I hope I was able to inspire you today.